Now, Oli is going, shoot. Instead of just giving me another partner, Oli goes up to Minnesota to the gym that had the Road Warriors and all of those guys. How old he is? Yes. Large. You, you multiply that by 20 times and you got large. <laughs> well, then I'm okay not meeting yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Lord, I love our large. I mean, I, I mean, uh, you know, uh, one of our podcast uh, associates there, our friend, uh, our dear friend, uh, uh, John and mine, and probably your Dutch Mantel, you know, he he has a lot of stories, but he Dutch and our our uh, large was in a program that large was just beating the holy crap out of Dutch every night. So finally, I holy cow, this, uh, we're gonna lose. Dutch. I thought Dutch had a pretty good good look and would had some talent in him, but finally, um, large one night in Miami just mutilated uh, poor Dutch and Dutch Dutch. Dutch was new. You know how we all are when we're new. We really fight back a lot. You know, you, you let the veteran do something. Dutch knew why he was there. He was there to get get large over with. So I just finally had. I was doing, working in the office there. And Dutch come in. I mean, he he was ready to 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 throw him down. Finally, you got you know what you get to the point where you got to you got to stand up for yourself, right? And back there. So finally, he had reached that tipping point. So. I looked over at the Dutch. I said, Dutch, don't worry about it. I'll hand up my office. So large comes in, large starts bitching, start, start, you know, going toward, I, I step in, large. I said, no, no, <laughs> not here. Me first and then him. <laughs> and large backed off and he sat down and I was thankful for him. But he was one of those guys you had to, he was worse than Oli. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Dutch told a young guy one day, I was working with him, he goes, you know, there's only two things you can't do. He said, what's that? He said, heel or baby face. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a hard Anderson quote. Wow, that's so good. <laughs> Dutch would say, good God almighty, could you hit me with your shoot punch? Because your working one's killing that's me. Killing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. So so you, you're there. You finally get uh, Ole's approval. You have you – have, what, what was your first match as an Anderson? I just wrestled – High school, uh -huh. Rome, uh, and to be honest with you, different era, different time. It was because the wrestling coach, I played football, played linebacker, and uh, played guard. Those days you played both ways. Um, and uh, he said, uh, wrestling coach, who was also the lineman coach, says, okay, you're, you're going to be wrestling. What weight class you want to wrestle on? What are you talking about? Well, if you're going to play football, you're going to wrestle. You got to have an alternate sport, stay in shape in the off season. Okay, so he got me started, and it was the hardest thing I had ever done. Amateur wrestling. If you don't respect amateur wrestlers, guys, it is the toughest sport in the world, bar none. There's no no more miserable feeling than being in class all day, not being able to eat lunch starving to death and then going in a hot sweaty field house it's probably 110 degrees and wrestling with a plastic top on yeah. amen on that so so uh, yeah so uh, that that's your high school so we're, we're in we're in atlanta we're tv now and then it only gives you that approval uh, and you guys go out and what kind of what, what who you remember? so um they put paul with us and they gave us a, a good push and for about uh, about five months, it, it was just every week on TV. Are you TV. teaming up with Ole at the no, time? No, I'm teaming with Matt Bourne. Matt Bourne, okay. Yeah, and this I'm a big fan of what ifs because in this business, if one piece moves, it could have changed the course of history and the entire business. This, I think, is, is one of those deals because, I mean, we, we did really well. Paul meshed good with Matt and myself. Matt, I don't think, was ever happy with the fact that a rookie got that spot as his partner. And he let me know a few times, but he got in some trouble and Matt got fired. Now, Ole is going, well, shoot. Instead of just giving me another partner, Ole goes up to Minnesota to the gym that had the Road Warriors and all of those guys. 
So all of a sudden, two guys show up at TV. Only calls me in, says, Arnold, I don't know what to do with you. So we brought in a team. We're going to put them with Paul Ellering, and we're going to do something else with you. Now, had Matt Bourne not gotten in trouble and fi gotten fired, Oldie wouldn't have went to Minnesota. We might not have ever had the Road Warriors. Wow. That's pretty stout. Pretty stout what if. And yeah, there's so many ifs in our business in there. Yeah, so the guy gets hurt, and you never know what's going to happen, you know. So there's just so many ifs in our business. And that's that what gym, makes her. That gym was amazing, wasn't it? Oh God, I mean, that it was a. It that's was where a, JBL trained too, by the way. That's right. I trained there with Brad Rangan, so I worked out at that gym. But it was. <laughs> you had a list of how many people had bench pressed 500 pounds. It was incredibly long. That was 30 years ago. It was a true monster factory, wasn't it? It was a true monster. It was an unbelievable. And put out some top talent over the years. If you look at all the guys that did well in this business from Minnesota, the list is wow, about this long. Yeah, yeah. John, John, and I've had a couple of those guys on, and we've had them name the guys. And it, it takes five minutes to name all those guys. I mean, that little high school in in Minnesota had produced so many guys. It's like a like that town in in, in Canada, Hamilton, Ontario. You look at the list from Hamilton, Ontario. It's just phenomenal with with the great talent. Same with that Minnesota high school. Yeah, uh, Robbinsdale. Robbinsdale, I believe. Yeah. Pinning and all the guys are yeah. from. Yeah, and they all trained at that gym, which was <laughs> uh, the hardcore gym. Huh? If you brought a drug test within a city block of that gym, it would have melted. <laughs> <laughs> It was a drug dog. A drug, drug dog. A drug dog would OD there. A drug, a drug dog would have passed out and died if it had walked to that gym. They were all on creatine. Yeah, they're yeah. on Ico Pro. Ico Pro. Yeah. You remember? I can't. I'll tell it later. That <laughs> way the camera's not on. <laughs> So but we're so afraid you might get fired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I have so much time left. <laughs> Go ahead, John. <laughs> we got <laughs> we got a we got a payoff one day at Madison Square Garden, and it was probably a quarter of what we should have gotten. I mean, it was a quarter of what we should have gotten. But it was at a time with WCW during the the wars and everything, and then, and then when he got that payoff, you're like looking at it and go the hell is this because you know the guard was how we made our living you know we weren't making big money back then and that was a big payoff and we get the payoff and it's like a quarter of what it should have been you've got to be kidding me and underneath it was a memo that drug testing has been suspended you're like oh, fuck it <laughs> this is great <laughs> you know the beauty of, of of wcw in its infancy that they didn't know what they were doing uh, but they had guaranteed contracts and if you didn't work one day Got your check every two weeks. And that kind of security, these guys, I'll tell you, was was never before and had, had it happened. We didn't think it was possible. They're going to pay me for two weeks to sit home, you know, if that was the case. But that's all you were going to get if the house was 50,000 people. Unless you're in that upper crust of Hogan and Sting and those guys, right. regular top guys or middle guys or top guys. Or underneath, guys, whatever your contract said, that's what you got every two weeks. 